Okay, this is a follow-up to the video I did earlier uh, that I wanted to show how I have it hooked up to my lithium batteries now. I'm a Battleborn battery, so anyways, uh, here is the shunt. Hopefully you can see it. Um, the lead goes through there, or it goes out of there, and goes to the positive side of the battery bank. So I have it hooked up to one side of, of one of the batteries, and then the negative, as you can see, goes into the other side, to, to the other battery. So it kind of gets a, a better reading of the voltage and everything. Let's see, I have the communication cable, uh, the monitor itself, it's uh, in the main area, so I'll show you that in a minute. But that that's it, it's that simple. Um, if you were to hook it up to the one battery, it would work, but it would probably not show you the correct voltages and it would take a little bit longer to get the accurate information. So I decided to just do it the right way. And I just added the, the temperature monitor um, that also hooks up to the network. You can create a network between all the Victron devices. And so because the charge controller is in another area, I wanted to have accurate temperature in this area because there's a lot of stuff in here, including the inverter and the temperature will be totally different than where the charger solar charge controller is so this will provide a better picture for the charge controller so it can do a, a better job of charging the batteries so that's about it it's very simple okay here's the monitor itself and as you can see it's reading the, the voltage for the battery bank um, that's the auxiliary battery right now with all the lights and everything it's only drawing 2.6 amps 35 watts um, it's been raining here so the batteries haven't been charged very well so as you can see I've used 5.4 amp hours since the last charge and it's sitting at 90% battery level. And that's the hours it's, it's estimating if I continue to use the, the current power level I'm using. Anyways, uh, that's it. It's very simple. I, I don't know where I'm going to put this yet. That's why it's kind of dangling. I have all that cable. I have my inverter plug there too. Or a, a remote switch. So... Sorry about the mess, but still a work in progress. I'm not sure exactly where I want to put it. I mean, I really could just leave it here since I have I use the Bluetooth most of the time. If you have any questions, just let me know down below. And subscribe if you like my videos.